Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick update video on Sonics. Um, I haven't had a chance to work on it in quite a while, but I got a good three hours in their day, and I kind of want to walk you through what I've done so far. Uh, the first thing I did was I went ahead and re-cleaned up the shop. I had so many filings all over the floor, and I really wanted to get a chance to have it kind of clean before I jumped back in. So I moved some things around, and uh, also I positioned the airplane uh, 90 degrees to the right so I can start working on uh, parts closer to the bench over there where all the tools are. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through what I did with reorganizing the shop. So over here I have my long table, I think the maybe three by six or so. Um, and right here is where I have my side panel for the airplane that I'm working on. Uh, the other day I was able to uh, put in these extra gussets and get this closer to being finished. Uh, some of these pieces you have to really measure specifically. So uh, right here is where the uh, spar will come through for the wing and this will attach obviously to the back part over there. Uh, I have all my tools organized over here. I brought out some components that I will be working on in the near future. This is the all the parts for the uh, firewall. This is all out of stainless steel. Everything else is obviously 6061 T6 aluminum. Stainless steel has to be extremely fire resistant, so if you get a fire in the engine, it doesn't melt all the aluminum around you. So um, now I have my workbench here, my tool bench here, and then my plan bench over here so I can go back and forth between the three. And because this is turned this way, I can start to fit these pieces in here as I go. I was able to finish installing these two formers. Um, they are the last two pieces that go in. I did went ahead and also finished putting all the holes and um, uh, smaller size Clecos all the way down this row. Uh, if there are any Clecos missing, it's just because I only have so many, so I have to kind of move them around. Technically, you don't need them in every single hole to hold it together, but sometimes it's nice just to get a finished product first. Um, so this piece in here, if you take a look up here, um, since this was the very last one that went in, it didn't fit in a way that I was super excited about. So I went ahead and made up two little shims to uh, keep it from being so uh, wrinkly in this one spot. Everywhere else is perfect, but just because uh, the nature of what this kit is, you can only get it so perfect each time. Uh, the next steps on this to finish this area up will be to bend these two flaps back from that bending brake, drill them in, and have a few more holes up here to uh, hold this uh, former into this uh, piece up here. And then I'm gonna call this done for now because what I really wanna do before I drill any of this up is I want to finish my two sides and my firewall and do a test fitting to verify that all the angles are correct and proper. Um, my, I don't know the concerns are right but one of the things I'm thinking about is the fact that when you go from the smaller to the larger rivet size, whatever stress is on that part will slowly shift it. So I wanna make sure all those pieces are within reason aligned. So when I go back and drill all of it from the smaller holes to bigger holes, uh, it, it doesn't put a huge shift on it from any uh, types of pressure that are already there. So um, that's the, the kind of the, the fun parts of the next step. So once those are done and this is in, I'll finish those two side pieces. I can go ahead and, and um, click them on, put the floor on as well too, and the firewall, do some measurements, verify, and then I can go back and, and redrill everything up. I still have some other uh, bits to finish in the uh, tub itself. This, for instance, is where the uh, tube goes through for the uh, elevator. So I need to attach this one here and this one a little bit further back. Um, but for right now, this is more than enough completed to, to verify it will fit in the right aspect. So um, that's about it so far. Thanks for watching. I'll continue to keep uh, going on it. Thanks.